Okay, so this FPP protocol, it is simple based on a FSM diagram. So you have to do it. Okay, I'll be explaining the theory part. So first going to there, first question is what is a protocol? Anyone have any idea about this protocol? See, if you check uh, like in any post in a, in a LinkedIn for freshers, okay, they will be writing, you should have knowledge on AMBA protocol, I2C, UART, etc. So in the AMBA protocol, there are like APB, AHB, AXI. This AHB, AXI are mostly used, okay. But why I'm explaining the APB first? Because it is the simplest protocol. If you are understanding APB protocol, then by yourself, you can try to read AHB and AXI. Implementing this protocol, definitely it will take time and it requires experience also. But if you know the theory part also, then it's a good thing. In the interview, you can say that I have knowledge on AHB and AXI. If I get a chance, I can work on it. And this I2C protocol also you have to, like if you're writing like I have worked on I2C and APB and you have to work because if you're saying that I have done the project, then they will be asking some practical questions. How you implemented this one, how you supposed to get the output, what are the bugs you found in your design, that kind of questions. So those you can answer if you have done the project. Okay, so uh, in almost every protocol we'll be using any, like whether HB, AXA, APB, I2C, anyone, we can use it. And what is this protocol? Protocol means it is simple set of rules, predefined to do the data transfer. Okay, so what are these like, Okay, so what are this protocol there again, like your interconnect protocol? And there is communication protocol. In communication protocol, there is again high speed, low speed. In high speed, you will be using USB, PCIe. In low speed, I2C. UART, etc. Now, let you have one I2C protocol and you will have one UART protocol. You want to connect this I2C protocol to UART. How you are supposed to connect it? How you are supposed to do the data transfer from I2C to UART? Because it have different pin, it have different number of pins. So you need some like bridge kind of thing or interconnect kind of thing. That's where your interconnect protocol comes. It will help you to do the data transfer from I2C to UART. This interconnect protocol is mainly your AMBA protocol. Here it is like APB, AHB, AXI. These three protocols are mostly used. APB, it is for low speed, low bandwidth. AHB, AXI for high speed, high bandwidth. Okay, so this is your protocol is all about. Okay, so I have got any idea like what is this protocol and why we should study the protocol. Hello? Any yes, doubt? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Any doubt? Hello. Okay, so now this uh, on by PP protocol, okay, just one minute. 
So AMBA stands for Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture. Bus Architecture means it simply has to interconnect to different different protocols. Then your APB it stands for Advanced Peripheral Bus. Where we should use the APB whenever there is low speed, low bandwidth. Okay, so low speed means it is like I want to connect I2C to URT, I can go for APB. But let I want to connect I2C to USB. For I2C, I'll be needing this APB. For USB, I need this AXI. So it is like APB to AXI, AXI conversion. Okay, so whenever low speed, you can use the APB. So next we'll come to what are the pins available in APB. Okay, so first one is your clock. Next one is your reset N. So what is this N stands for? N means it is the active low reset. Now there is one P address channel. P stands for the APB. In APB, whatever the pins you are going to use, you will be using this P suffix. Okay. Address, it is a 32 bit address line, address bus. You are going to send the address in this bus. Then PW data. It is also 32 bit write data. Whenever you want to write something, you have to send the data in this bus. Then PR data. This is also 32 bit. It is like read. So, so read data. So data will come from the slave. And here PW data, data is sent from the master. Remember, whenever you are writing something, writing means master is writing the data into slave. Reading means master is reading from slave. Now, what is master? What is slave? Master means the one who initiates the transaction. I want to write something. Now, I started the signal for writing. I sent the signal for writing. I will be a master. Let some other send me the signal for writing. Then that one will be master. I will be slave. Okay. Now there is one P select X signal. So here X stands for number of slaves. When this signal is one, then that slave is active. It is sent from master. Now here, there will be one master. This is one slave, another slave, another slave, another slave, another slave. Okay, so now uh, at a time master cannot connect with every slave. So master will be connected to one slave. Now which slave master should connect? Let here there is one, two, three, four, five. Let there is total three bit P select X signal. Sorry, this will be not three bit, this will be a five bit. It will be connected to here. Another will be connected to here. This all are P select X. Okay. So now master one, two, do data transfer with this slave. So master will make this P select X is equal to one. So this is P select a zero, P select one, P select two. So master will make P select two is equal to one. So this slave will now be active and it will communicate with the master. Okay. So P select X means master sent from master. One means that slave is active. Zero means that slave is inactive. Okay. Then there is some P enable signal. So when this is one, so when P select X is equal to one and P enable is equal to one at that time, read or write operation happens. Okay, if P enable is zero, you cannot do read or write operation. Okay, 
So P select X P enable, then there is one P ready signal. This comes from slave. If it is equal to one, then slave is ready for data transfer. Else, slave is this. This is total one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So P enable, P write, P W, P address. Okay, then. These are the main important signals. Okay, then there are some other signals like your P stroke. We normally in the simple FPB we don't use it, or whenever there is FPB to AXI conversion, it is used. It is used means like you are sending a thirty-two bit data, and it is like a uh, no, not thirty-two bit data. You are sending some six. T four one twenty eight. Okay, let you are sending some five twenty six bit of data. Then you will be sending in the thirty two bit bus. So first it will be converted like thirty two, thirty two, thirty two, thirty two. Total let one two three four five six. Okay, in this way you are going to do the data transfer. Thirty-two bit, then thirty-two bit, then thirty-two bit, then thirty-two bit, like this. Okay. Now let in this thirty-two bit. Okay, these four bits are invalid. Like you are sending the data, but that data is not valid data. Some garbage values. So you can there will be a P stroke signal. It is normally four bit signal. So what it will do? It will pass in one, 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 one. That means these four byte are valid. For these four things, it is valid. Now, let you are sending next P stroke is equal to one zero one one. So one zero one one means this one is valid, this one is valid, but this data it is not valid. So it is not. It is just going to consider this data. It is like a don't care data. So P stroke signal is used to indicate the valid data. Okay. Next, there is P protection. It is normally fixed. Okay. P protection means whether whether it is read only. Write only, bufferable. All those things comes under P protection. Okay, so it is also used when you are going to convert FPB to AHV or FPB to XI. Next, there is P slave error. In FPB, if there is any error happens in your write or read operation, okay, it is not going to consider whether uh, there is error, whether there is no no error, it is going to complete the transaction. But in AHB or AXI, if there is any error, it will return you a signal indicating that failure of the transaction. So this is also used in AHB or AXI FPB to please. Okay. So all of you understood about the signals. Yes, ma'am. Done. Okay, uh, so now how the data transfer happens? Because there is, I already told there is certain rule. So what is that rule? Here there is simple one FSM. You just have to implement that FSM. That FS, FSM is three state. One is idle state. Then is setup state. Then is SS state. Another is assisted. Okay, so in the ideal state, everything is zero. Everything is normal. Let master wants to do the data transfer. Data transfer with one slave. Then master will make corresponding P select X signal. Of slave equal to one. So first master will send the signal. Okay, there are five slave. To the third slave, master will send the signal. P select X is equal to one. Now third slave will get active. Okay, one. So the corresponding slave will go to set up state. It will be in idle state. It will go to set up state. Okay. So now here P select X is equal to one, but still P enable equal to zero. 
Now in the set of state, what will happen? In this state, okay, here I forgot to write another signal that is P write. Whether it is a read operation or write operation. If it is one, then write operation. If it is zero, then read operation. Okay, so now in setup, okay. In this state, master will send the required signals. What are the required signals? First, it will send P select X. Sorry, P select X is understand P write. So P write, if it is one, then it is a write operation. So with P write, it will send P address from a PW data. Now let master is sending P write is equal to zero. Then with this, it will send P address. PR data will be given from the slave. Master is going to simple send P write zero and P address. Okay. And remember all these signals can change only in set of state. In SA state, all those signals should be constant. Okay. So now coming to SA state, here also your P select X is equal to one and P enable equal to zero. In idle state, P enable zero, P select X is also is equal to zero. When master makes P select X is equal to one, slave will go to set of state. So in the set of state only P select X is equal to one. In idle state, it is zero. So now in the SA state here, master will check P ready signal. If it is equal to one, then whether it is write or read operation is done. But let P ready is equal to zero. Then what will happen? Master will wait for slave. And how many times it is going to wait? It is not like that master is going to wait for slave continuously. It will wait for five, six or 16 or 20 clock cycle. After that master will simple make P select X signal zero and with other slave, it will try to do the transaction. This is depends on design. How many clock cycle they want master to wait? Because if master is waiting for more clock cycle, then it is like unnecessary wastage. So it is like three, four, five, up to this much, it is going to wait for the slave. Okay. So if period is equal to zero, then master will wait for slave. In this, here in the SA state, only P enable signal change. Master makes P enable equal to one. All other signals must be constant. Okay, so this is the state diagram. If you go to here, see, this is the state diagram that I have explained. Okay, now after this state, master will check. If master wants to do more transaction with same slave, then it will go to set of state. If wants to do transaction with other slave, then it will go to idle state. Then again, it will start. Okay, so this is the state diagram you have to implement. Just go through this theory. If you are unable to understand, then please ask me. Okay, now in the interview, they may ask you these waveforms. How right operation, right operation will happen. Now see, in the right operation, uh, first it is in ideal state. Then master make P select X is equal to one. So this is the setup state. In the setup state, master is changing the P right signal PW data signal, okay, and P address signal. P address, PW data, and P write. These three signals are changed only in set of state. Now, next state will be SS state. Remember, set of state, next state must be SS state. In the next clock cycle, 
slaves should go to SS state. It will not wait for anything. This set set up means next state must be set as a state. So minimum it requires two clock cycle to complete a transaction. Minimum, okay. Minimum it requires two clock cycle to complete a transaction. Okay, so now this is set of state in the idle state. In the idle state, only P enable signal should get changed. Every other signal should be constant. So P enable signal get changed, all other signals are constant. Now here as P rate is equal to one, so here my transaction get completed. So whatever the signals, they may change. But if P rate equal to zero with wait state. Now here you can see P rate, this is my P rate here. Enable, sorry, this is my SS state. Here my transaction should complete, but P rate is equal to zero. So you can see all the signals are constant. No one is changing. Here P rate equal to one. Now in this state, my transaction got completed. After that, my P, all the signals get changed. Okay, so your waveform should look like this one, whatever the design you are doing. Okay, so just go through this theory part. You can download like APB protocol search in the net. This video file will come. Just go through it. If you're facing any difficulties, then ask me next, try to implement it. Okay. First, uh, please go through the theory, but it is important because in the theory, they may ask you what is the FSM, what is the uh, event diagram, like sorry, what is the waveform and what are the pins? So first, Completely go through theory, understand the theory, then you can start the coding. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. You just uh, first try to study it. If you are facing any difficulties, then please ask me. Okay. 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 So, any other doubt like in Verilog you guys have, or uh, we can move to system Verilog from next week? Please let me know, okay, in the group, please let me know whether I should discuss on some more things in Verilog or should we move to system Verilog, okay.